young voices in the European democracies. Democracy and economic growth in Turkey. The main aim of this presentation is to see if there is a significant relationship between economic growth and democracy in Turkey. Introduction. The relationship between democracy and growth has been one of the most controversial issues in political science literature during and after the Cold War. Lipset has pointed out that democracy and the economic situation of a country are related to each other and that economic development might even be one of the prerequisites to democracy. Global Research on the Issue with regard to income equality and socio-economic distribution, Muller, using 58 countries in his study, notes that the effect of economic development on democracy is important, but income inequality is destroying this positive effect. The situation in Turkey. Let's have a look at the relationship between economic growth and democracy in Turkey between 1980 and 2010 to see whether there is a significant relationship between the two. Turkey is a good case to investigate in this regard because of its regional importance. Turkey is one of the few secular and democratic Muslim countries in the world. Even though Turkey has experienced three military coup 1960, 1971, and 1980, its direction towards the European Union has never stopped. Periods Military Coup and Political Instability During the military coup in Turkey in 1980, the economic growth stopped and it went below zero. There was no indication in the income fought per capita, because there was no democracy and equality. During the years when we have political instability in Turkey, both economic growth and income for per capita fell below zero. The main reason for this situation was inequality in income balance and wrong economical decisions taken by the ruling governments as well as the lack of democratic initiatives. Particularly after the 2002 elections, when the one party, AK Party, won the elections, Turkey becomes one of the world's fastest growing economies. At the same time, the country is trying to clear away the bad effects of the last military coup in 1980. Looking at Turkey's last three decades is especially important since the country uses the constitution that was prepared by the military after the 1980 coup. It can be said that Turkey is experiencing a new transition process. This transition is not only moving the country towards more democratization, but also towards greater economic development. Conclusion. Our co-integration results show that there is a significant relationship between economic growth and democracy in the period examined. Our results support the previous literature on Turkey, which found a significant relationship between growth and economy in the long run. Democracy equals economic growth. When democracy weakens, economic growth and income for per capita tends to decrease in Turkey. Thank you for listening. Together we can make a considerable change.